that are placed in animal shelters due to hurricanes, and sometimes people just can't take care of them anymore. There's other reasons that they can be taken to a shelter. It's usually when authorities have to come in and confiscate animals, either because they're running a puppy mill, they're animal hoarders and can't take care of the animals anymore, or they're caught in a dog fighting ring. It's, it's very important and consequently that families need to adopt shelter animals. KHOU's Lisa Carter reported on a tweet, the Dean of University of Houston posted September 4th of 2018, Dr. Hatter tweeted, all of those that are concerned about the dog that was running around our campus for a week, do not worry. I have taken her from Bark to foster and to adopt. Her name is Ruby. Ruby's newfound fame give her the honorary title of the unofficial cougar mascot. Many of Cat Hatter's followers gave her praise because she took home Ruby and she didn't have to, deeming yet another reason why they loved their dean. By adopting stray dogs, the dean showed people how much important it is to adopt versus buying from a breeder, giving a stray a second chance as a happy, loving home. Nationwide, there are six point million animals that are entered into the U.S. shelters every year. Unfortunately, when the national national disaster happens, such as a hurricane, it even rises. Hundreds of animals require housing during Harvey. With the help of organizations such as Best Friends Animal Society, Austin Pet Alive, Houston Pet Alive, and Houston Pet Set, they set out to rehome and reunite these pets with their owners. Unfortunately, a lot of them were not reunited not able to go with their owners or they didn't, they were found on rooftops, they were swimming, they were on small islands of land surrounded with water. Um, these animals had, had nowhere to go. However, a good deal of the animals is not reunited, so forever homes are needed for adoption. These animal societies in South Carolina reminded people to take their animals when they fled and evacuated from the Hurricane Florence. Other shelters asked residents to open up their homes prior to the hurricane landing. And with that, the Carolina community, 127 dogs were taken into homes before the storm hit. However, after the storm hit, many needed forever homes still. For instance, on one day we saw on Facebook where um, when Josie Scott, she was a hit and run accident out of Shepherd. They, somebody had dropped off a dog at the cemetery she was to be buried, uh, buried at. And the girl was scared because she was a pit bull and was scared she would bite someone. So my husband and I drove up there to get her because we were scared that she would either be euthanized, be left in a shelter the rest of her life, just because of the type of breed she is, or even worse. In the article by Karen Bullard, she states that pit bulls are pretty much public enemy number one of American dogs. They've got a reputation for being dangerous. Many dogs are labeled pit bulls even though they are not, which is causing a, a lot more dogs to be euthanized. 1.2 million shelter dogs are, dogs are euthanized each year. People don't realize that there are very, a lot of famous and loyal dogs that are pit bulls, such as World War I hero, Sergeant Stubby. He sniffed out German spies. He could smell the mustard gas before it came and warned the soldiers, and he could find the wounded soldiers quicker and help them get where they needed to go. You can read more about that on the barkpost.com about him and his service. There are other ones that are famous, like Petey from Little Rascals, Helen Keller, she had one that was Sir Thomas, and then there was Jack Butis that was also a Civil War hero, also a pit bull. There's also one that had saved his family from an intruder that come into the house. He was shot three times, but lived thankfully. We've had Zoe for four years now, and she is a dream. We have never had such a loving, selfless, affectionate dog in all our years. As a family, we feel that everyone should try to adopt at least once. It's not just about 
giving a less fortunate animal a forever home, but the unconditional love that an adopted animal can provide for your family and it's most rewarding. There will always be breeders that will sell pure breeds. Should it be about the type of dog you want or should it be worthwhile to start a journey with a pet that needs a forever home? Even though there are 3.2 million animals adopted each year, that just isn't enough. We have to get the word out. Like stories like Miss Hatter with her heartwarming story about Ruby taking her home. The commercials from AS, SBCA has pulled a lot of heartstrings and people have started adopting a lot more. News channels have even got on board with trying to help and they have partnered with different shelters and they'll bring a dog into their their news program and show them and highlight them and do different things in order to get these animals homes. These, this indeed, there is indeed a demand for animals to be adopted, whether it's a dog, cat, horse, or any other animal at that matter, you know, to give them a second chance at a happy, loving home. Thank you.